JKX VX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. I've done many videos in the past regarding fastest ways to get money and credits from the auction house and other methods like that in Forza Horizon 4. However, one thing I've not focused on at all is influence, the fastest way and the best way to get influence and level up in the game and that's what this video is all about. It is going to be solely based on the best ways to get influence, the best race to do and the best car to use to get influence and level up in the game. It's taken me a while but if you follow this method correctly with the same race and the same car I recommend, you can get between 340 and 400,000 influence per hour. So that's what this video is based on. I've done a little bit of experimenting today and I've managed to find lots of answers that you'll all be curious about. Let me just quickly tell you what race we're using. I know most people already know about this race. However, what you probably won't know about is what car to use, which actually quite surprised me. The race you do to get the most influence is this one right here at the highway. It is a race that starts down here, goes all the way up the motorway to here, and then it goes back down again. And that's one lap done. On average, it'll take about an hour to do 20 laps. However, the examples I'm going to show you later on, it was just with one lap, just so we can get an example of the influence. Now for each lap, obviously, now for each lap, as you go up the motorway, you gain a skill chain all the way to the top. And then when you get to the top, before you turn around, you have to stop and bank the skill chain. And then as you come back down again to finish your lap, you complete another skill chain as well. So every lap you're getting two big skill chains banked, which gives you XP. And if you do this for all 20 laps with the exact car that I explain later on, you should get between 300 and 400,000 influence per hour. But let me just show you real quick how you can get this race. What you will have to do is you'll have to add me on Xbox. You'll have to add my gamer tag. It's in the top left hand corner, JKXVXYT. Once you've got me added, go to any speed zone or speed sign, anything you can find. For example, go to this speed trap here. Go to view leaderboards by clicking X and then try to find my name somewhere. Because you've added me, I'll be somewhere on that list. Click on me, go to view creative hub, then go to blueprints shared and you'll be able to see one called one mil plus our highway this is the race you need to use in the cars that i'm going to show you later on this is the race you use to get the high influence and high credits but as i said i'm not going to use this one i'm just going to use one lap instead of 20 just so i can show you the influence so anyway now you know enough about the race in question now i'm going to talk about the best car to use for this race so there's lots of different ones however there's one that sticks out and there's one that gives you the most influence out of all of the other cars I spent the last few hours experimenting through loads of different cars, finding out which one gives me the most XP after doing one lap of the infamous high lap, the high lap highway race. And I have done one lap of this highway race in several different cars, and I have a pretty interesting result of which one gives you the most influence possible. As you will know, there are Forza Edition cars in the game which give you certain boosts. For example, the Transit van is a speed skills boost. Uh, the MC12 is also a speed skills boost. Um, the Nissan GTR LM is an influence boost car. And that would make sense that one of these cars is the best way to get influence because it gives you an influence boost, which is correct. However, let's have a look at this. There are only three cars in the entire game that has an event influence boost on it. One of them is the Nissan GTR LM. The second one is the Alpha Giulia Quadfoglio. That is also an influence boost. And then the other one is the BMW M5 influence boost. Now the question is, which car gives you the most influence? Is it the Nismo because it gives you event influence boost? Or is it the Maserati because you get so many speed skills thanks to the boost that it gives you more XP from the skills? The influence boost Nissan GTR LM has some pretty good perks. You'll have like 30% increased skill score there, 20% skill score, quite a lot of different ways to increase your skill score. However, there is a permanent 15% increase for influence in general, and also another 20 up here, along with the influence boost you get for the actual bonus car. So those are some pretty good perks. The other influence boost for to edition, the BMW M5, 
also has the exact same perks as the other Influence Boost Forza Edition. You get a 20% increase, a 15% increase, plus the Forza Edition boost, and then all the skills. That's what you get from the two Influence Boost cars. If we go to the Maserati and have a look at these perks, this is where it starts to get interesting. The Maserati doesn't have any permanent increases that just gives you a general influence boost. However, it does have this one up here, which gives you a 200% influence boost for the next 10, cam 10 campaign races from the skills banked. So this isn't a 200% increase in general, it's just the skills banked. However, 200% is a lot. And then other than that, you get loads of other skill score, 20%, 20%, 20%, and other 20, just loads of other skill score boosts on the Maserati. But the Maserati isn't an influence boost car, so that's where it makes it tricky. However, the one lasting influence boost car that we've not looked at yet, the Alpha, this Alpha is an event influence boost, just what we want. And it doesn't have the same perks as the BMW or the GTR, this actually has the same perks as the Maserati. On an influence boost car vehicle, you can get a 200% extra influence boost from the skills you get in it, along with all the other boosts you get from all the other perks. Although you don't get the um, permanent 15 and 20% boost in general, you get a ton of a boost from the skills. So what I did is I jumped in the Maserati, the Alpha, the GTR, and the BMW M5, and I did one lap up and down the motorway race I just showed you, and I got two big skill chains, obviously one there and one back. I recorded how much influence I got from the end of the race, and let's have a look at the results. Just for a bit of testing, I did it in the Aston Martin Vulcan to start off with, the Forza edition, and I got 14,300 influence. A little bit of perk bonus, a little bit of skills influence, as you can see, but nothing too dramatic. And then I did it in the Maserati with all of the perks purchased as well. Bear in mind this was only one lap, so imagine doing this 20 laps, you get quite a lot more than this. But with this car, the Maserati, I got a little bit more perk bonus, but that still only gave me 14,700 influence. Then I did it in the Nissan GTR LM, which gave me 16,400 influence from one lap. I didn't get much perk bonus on this one, I got a nice amount of skills and also the Forza Edition car boost, but that still only gave me 16,400. The BMW M5 gave pretty much the exact same results as the GTR because they have the same everything, the same speed, the same boosts and the same perks. However, the one we're talking about, the Alpha Quadrifoglioleo, gave me 16,700 influence from one lap. Now that's not a massive increase, but if you've timed that by 20, if you do 20 laps, that can become a pretty big difference. If we take a look at the Alpha's results, I got more perk bonus than any of the other cars. I got a Forza Edition car boost on top of that. I also got the skills and the finished first influence as well. And some clean racing. Now, my clean racing wasn't very good, so if I did a bit cleaner racing and a tiny bit more skills, I would have even more influence. If I did 20 laps in the Alpha, which believe it or not is actually faster than the GTR anyway, I would get between 340 and 350,000 credits for 20 laps. Now just before I do one lap with the Alpha in the actual race I was on about, let me just show you how easy it is to get the Alpha, because as I was saying, it's the easiest influence car to get, and it's the best one. If you go to the Orch now, search for Alpha Romeo, Alpha Forza Edition, there's loads on here for 200,000, 300,000. It's just so easy to get. So you can quite easily get one of them. However, if you want the Nissan GTR LM, they're a bit more expensive. And as I said, for the highway race, put. And as I said, for the highway race, please put the V10 engine swap in it. Make it all wheel drive or keep it rear wheel drive. You do have to let off the throttle in the corners and then fully upgrade it and you'll get over 1,200 horsepower. Some of you may find this useless because you might not really care about the slight difference of influence, but anybody who's wanting to come here and find the fastest way to level up, the fastest car to use, I would say it's the Alpha. From all of the perks you get and the stuff like that, you get more per lap. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to quickly do a lap of the race. This is actually a demo version, it's actually just a sprint race, but it's exactly the same as the 20 lap highway race anyway. Here we go, just going to do a quick run of the highway up and down, see how much XP we get from just one lap. So I've got to one another highway, I'm going to bank the skill chain now, 
Ooh, I've gone a bit out. Who cares? I'm miles in front. 36,000 in this skill chain. And then we're going to set off again and go back to the finish line for the last run. Here we go, coming up to the finish line now. As I said, because this is a one lap race, it's different from the 20 lap one I showed you earlier. But this is just for example purposes. I'm just going to stop to make sure I get all of the XP and that's both runs done. And there you go, that would be the equivalent of one lap. And let's see how much XP we got in the alpha. 16, that was 16,800, so that was even more. Nearly 17,000 influence compared to the 16,000 you get from the GTR and 14,000 in the Maserati. Now, as I said, guys, even though the influence difference between some of the cars is very minimal, if you times it by 20 or even 50 laps, it becomes quite a lot of influence, and that's when it does become worth using these other cars. So, yeah, I don't really need to say much more, guys. I've kind of proven it to you, that the, the Alpha Quadrifoglio with influence boost and all of the perks purchased is the fastest way to level up in the game and just get influence with from doing the 20 lap highway race. This is for people who don't care about credits, they just want to grind XP over and over and over again. Do that 20 lap race in the Alpha with all the perks and you should get anywhere between 350 and 400,000 influence. So yeah guys, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I've done a bit of experimenting today and we've come to the conclusion the Alpha, with all the perks purchased, is definitely the best way to get the most influence per race that you do. So anyway guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all in the next video.